Well, this is Jim Reese with Siskiyou. I'm going to go ahead and show a couple of different things here relating to our new BIMQ product. And so I've got uh, three different screens here. One is I have our um, uh, my iPad here. I've got a web browser here, and I've got Revit 2016 here going on. So um, what I'm going to do is basically show as I'm modeling here in Revit, you'll see that the data gets posted directly to the cloud uh, as I'm doing that modeling. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, model some stuff out here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and let that process. Okay, so you'll see over here uh, in this uh, background process, you see the data is starting to populate over here in the grid. Uh, this is on a background process that's not involving uh, the speed or enhancing the speed of Revit itself. So um, if we go ahead and take a look at that over here, you see the data is starting to populate over here on the right-hand side. We've got it currently set up to do a refresh. I'm going to go ahead and force that refresh right here. Okay, so essentially what you're looking at is the build material, you see the reducer, all the pipe, uh, sorry, the T, uh, the pipe, the concentric reducer, and the bends. And these are the weld gaps down below here. And uh, so if I go ahead and just scroll over to the right, you see we're picking up quite a bit of information over here. Just to give you an idea what's going on. Okay. So all this information now that I just drew in the model is now showing up inside of a cloud service, essentially. And so our expectation is that the company's going to want to inter interact with that data. Um, they want to track it, they're going to want to add statuses to it and do other things to that data. So as we're looking at the data right here, and if I do additional processes like, um, let's say for example I want to spool this, so you see spool tag right there. So if I come over here and I create a spool, let's go ahead and set that chill water first. So my spool is set up to do chill water, and um, I'll just go ahead and create spool. So let's do a spool here. That's fine. Create another spool here. Okay, so if I look at these spools, um, see the spool right there. Again, in uh, the right hand side over here, it's basically updating that, um, those changes that have happened directly uh, inside the model. So now, if I go look at my spool tag, here are the things that are, have been spooled. Um, so then I can sort by different spools if I want to. Um, there's quite a bit of information you can change on that. Also, if you notice that um, the same information is also available on the iPad. So if I go to my iPad here. Okay, so if I pick up my iPad and just hit a refresh on this. Okay, so uh, these top lines right here are the atoms that we use. We use a Revit family to create an atom. We'll probably filter that off eventually. Uh, the weld gaps, the T, and then all the information associated with that. So, um, filtering through that there. Okay. So that's basically showing how the data gets drawn inside the model and displays itself uh, directly inside the cloud and we just got some simple uh, projects here to show exactly you know what that looks like okay thank you very much